the tenacity, the toughness, the reality of uh, Lobster Man and Clam Digger. Harley Stone, Charlie Kimball, Clam Digger, Clammy, and uh, Charlie Kimball, Lobby. I think in uh, issue two or three, we introduce uh, Charlie Kimball's love interest. She's a, uh, her name is Amanda Flame, and Amanda is a University of Maine graduate, marine biologist, a doctor, um, kind of an eco-terrorist, if you really come down to it, in the comic. Her and her associate, uh, her current boyfriend, are out at sea doing something perilous, and uh, Lobby and Clammy have to come to the rescue. Not that Amanda Flame is a weakling of any kind or just a woman needing help from a man. But uh, Charlie and Pearlie didn't know this, so, you know, damsel in distress, we're going to go save her. Yeah, how about that? In one of the scenes, uh, Lobster Man is swinging on a rope to ward the uh, sailboat that Amanda and her boyfriend, her other doctor associate, are in peril on, and uh, Lobster Man swings and kind of misses his landing and hits headlong into the mast. Bonk. Breaks the mast. Yes. Charlie Kimball's head, his skull, is so hard that he broke the mast. And that kind of sets the tone for how tough these guys really are. And moving on into issue number four, which is, oh, issue five, which is my favorite cover. Shows uh, Lobster Man and Clam Digger in peril. Their rowboat is uh, being PT-109 by a much bigger boat. And on the bridge, I mean, on the bow is the longshoreman, one of uh, Enrique Calamari's henchmen, and they're firing a uh, harpoon at uh, the rowboat, and Lobby's got this heroic, I'll get you kind of, you know, stance. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, Clammy's putting on his life jacket going, uh, Lobby, don't you think, uh, kind of yeah, so anyway, in the, the long and the short of it is, and oh boy, there goes some, some roofing. We're going to have some wet rooms pretty soon. The typhoon going on right now. That's why I'm doing this. Anyway, a uh, great uh, story goes that Lobster Man and Clam Digger are captured, and uh, they're done up in a cargo net weighted down and thrown overboard and in their tenaciousness they uh, go to the bottom of Penobscot Bay actually the the bay, Belslow Bay and uh, while they're down there they're trying to calculate how exactly they're going to survive this. It looks like curtains and uh, it turns out we tell a little bit more about Pearly Stone being a creative genius, a mechanical wizard. He uh, pulls out a rig that he's created, which is like a mini saw, MacGyvered, and he cuts the netting and they escape. And the next scene is these two boat, uh, these two uh, waiters are bottom side up heading toward shore. And as they uh, proceed to rise out of the water you see Lobby and Clammy pull them off their heads they'd use them for diving bells and uh, the coughing and choking and gagging and wheezing and Charlie says to Pearlie don't you don't you ever believe in using something like an odor eater yeah their tenaciousness one that's the comedy of Lobster Man and Clam Digger means for superheroes